Hello, and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Domingo. Special K, it's not redoing really another peanut butter whiskey. We have Rams Point peanut butter whiskey. 70 proof, over 35% alcohol by volume. $18 a bottle, which is on par with most of the other peanut butter whiskeys, with the exception of Screwball, which is twice as much so, as this. Why do you think they called it Rams Point? I don't know, because, I don't know. Is it because Rams have huge balls? So the nuts? Why don't they just call it Ram Balls then? <laughs> Because that sounds way worse. <laughs> it does. Um, I mean, have you ever seen the testicles on a ram, bro? They're ridiculous. I mean, that's most large mammals. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> on, on, on another note, let's drink our peanut butter whiskey. Um, so there are one or two more we need to do. There's there's blind. There's a lot of peanut butter. There's like two different squirrel branded ones. There's blind, blind squirrel, squirrel and then there's another squirrel branded. Is it called fox ones. squirrel? That'd be cool. I don't know. It's probably lame. Uh, the colors. I wonder if this has artificial color. So let's find out really quick. Whiskey with natural flavors and caramel color added. So this is. It's it's not. It's it's fake. All right. Cool. I mean, it smells like peanut butter. So. A plus. Uh, oh, it smells a little warm. You get that? Like, it does. Alcohol vapor. It smells like somebody drank peanut butter whiskey and then breathed at me. Accurate. Is the easiest it's, way it's to... It's the LaCroix of fucking peanut butter whiskey. Um, so it has that little alcohol on the breath mm -hmm. kind of thing on it. Yeah. Uh, it smells a little off to me. For peanut butter. You ever like had a peanut butter that's been like in the pantry for a little bit too long and it tastes kind of weird? That peanut butter doesn't last like, very long in my it house. It doesn't. Plus, Kroger had it for 89 cents a jar. So you gotta get that. that you gotta get that honey roasted crunchy. Right, correct. That's the way to do it. That is the correct peanut butter. <laughs> All right, let's hit it. Ew! I just got a tingle down my spine. And it why is like it so a, hot? Like, what's the percentage on this? Like 35 percent. No, what? It's got a weird, like a uh, rubbery rubbery flavor in the middle. You ever been on a playground that's like made out of the recycled tires? Mm -hmm. Is exactly what this smells like. It's exactly, the, no, the, the taste on the back end, that's what it is. Yeah. Ugh. Mm -mm. Mm. Um, like a four? You got so many other options. Don't uh, get the rubber one. I ain't ready for that one yet. Um, yeah, it's got weird, it's got a weird rubberiness up front. The, it's just really sweet and a very hint, a hint of peanut butter. It might be a good mixer. I don't. I wouldn't say it's a little hot, but I wouldn't say it was that burny. And I think it just with the sheer amount of it's, sugar. Well, my, my throat's very sore from last night, so <laughs> I got the Rams point. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> um, so it's not. Uh, it's not good. It's definitely not good. Not for eighteen dollars a bottle, because like I said, there's so many other options for peanut butter whiskeys out, out there. Mm -hmm. um, just go get Bird Dog, bro. Uh, ugh. straight. I might have to give this one a. I'm gonna go three and a half. It's not undrinkable, but I don't know if I'd. And also, I wouldn't want to drink. I want to point out that there's zero, zero whiskey flavor. Yeah, that's true. It just tastes like. It tastes like you went to Texas Roadhouse, and you just drank a whole flask of vodka, and then just the peanut dust just happened to land in your cup. Well, let's see if we can save it as a mixer. But the vodka was actually freaking dark eyes. That's what the problem was. You know, I hope this is going to taste like pe like peanuts and Coke. It smells like buttered popcorn now? Um, no, specifically, uh, like... <sighs> Kettle corn. Crackle, cracker Jacks. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah it, it smells some like... It's weirdly popcorn -y. Mm -hmm. So, uh, alright, let's, well, let's taste it. Um, salty Pepsi. What? Better? Yeah, it is better. Um, I think somehow the artificial sweetener canceled out the rubber. I don't understand how that works. No, it does. It does feel salty. It mm -hmm. does taste salty. It's weird. Um, oh. but I mean, you know, if you're one of the people that puts like the bags of peanuts in your Coke, you probably like this combination. Mm -hmm. I still don't think it's good whiskey. I still, the peanut, peanut yeah. flavor is just not. Is it not a blended there. whiskey? Is that what the problem is? Uh, it's probably not. So it's probably like white whiskey that they it's because they have food coloring. Right, right, right. Because so. yeah, otherwise you wouldn't have to. Yeah. It's the same with a lot of these. Um, they have you know they're adding color to them. Any of them they say add color is probably not real whiskey in it. So there's like no whiskey flavor. 
in it. I don't know what they use for the base. I don't know anything about this company. Um, the bottle's okay. It looks okay. I do like the artwork. But I will say that uh, as a mixer... Like five. I'm going to go four. It's slightly better, but it's still not good. I mean, in a pinch, it's all right, but just get Bird Dog. Uh, no, Bird Dog was not that great either. I think one of the better ones... But I'm not had, paying screwball prices. You don't pay $30 for some peanut butter whiskey? Yeah. No, I, just, I could buy three bottles of vodka for one peanut butter whiskey. Yeah. Do they have peanut butter liqueur? Is that, or you can yeah, just, that is a thing. I've seen it before. Can't you just get whiskey and just mix a scoop of peanut butter in it? I mean, it wouldn't look <laughs> great. You could just use the oil from the natural peanut butter. I imagine it wouldn't look particularly appetizing, but I mean, it would probably taste... Similar or better than this, like would it dissolve? Like know, the alcohol, or would, you just would, have probably, alcohol would probably experiment for another. <laughs> yeah, show. yeah, we're gonna make a video on this. We're gonna make some, our own peanut butter whiskey. I don't know if that would work really well. I imagine you could also this is get like an some, episode of Trailer Park Boys about that. Well, I imagine you get some peanut extract or something like that mm -hmm. too, um, and maybe do, like, that do they have there. like peanut bitters? Nah, I don't know. So you could just like pop, pop, pop. Does the copper make peanut butter? I'm pretty sure they do. They, I think that they do. I have seen that yeah. around. Yeah, you could just mix that with some whiskey and then be done with it. See, as far as flavored alcohols go, like... You only need to get this, Evan Williams Cherry. No, this destroys... Have you had this? Uh, I don't know. No, this is the best... And, it, and, and this it's obviously not peanut butter flavored. As far as flavored whiskeys go, this is the top of the line best thing in existence. Because guess what? It's just Knob Creek with maple syrup in it. So it's like the... Uh, the Crown Royal maple was really good too. Yeah, that's better though because yeah. Crown Royal is expensive. Blended and man. Yeah. So overall, do we recommend this one? I can't recommend this one. I think mm -hmm. it's a hard pass. Eighteen dollars a bottle isn't awful for this, but I'm still trying to find that peanut butter whiskey that wows me, and it's just not. They're there. always just okay. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't. I, I would pay thirty dollars a bottle if it had whiskey in it, wasn't dyed colors and all this other. If it stuff. had the intestines of the ram in it, I might buy it then. Mm, that would probably be a little, uh, it would be very grassy and irony. I'm okay with that. I yeah. like iron. I'm sure you do. Love the, love the shaft. I'm, ane I'm anemic as fuck, so I need it. Um, so yeah, avoid this one. If you need a peanut butter whiskey, yeah, uh, screwball, or, uh, avoid Old Smoky. That's another one that wasn't that mm. good. Just all Old Smoky products, except for the pickles. There's a, they have, they have like, that's like one in seven is good. Yeah. That's a that's it's a about, accurate number. Yeah, like they have like fifty things, but like one in seven of those. So every you know, remember when we went seven? to the distillery? Yeah, and that one <laughs> lady was trying to get us all drunk. She was drunk. That was the problem. He's like, you want the whole bottle? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, it's nine a.m., girl. What are you doing? Yeah. Well, you know, that's why they they probably why they charge now. I swear. They charge sure. like what four dollars for five shots or, or five days yeah. or something. Anyway. All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. And I'm Domingo. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.